This time a sack. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. And now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Cousins. And that will be incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, he'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. And he breaks through. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. The 30, the 20, 10, and all way in for a Kansas City touchdown. That'll go down as a 92-yard punt return score. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. Gardner, the old rules about not fielding punts inside your own 10, those things are way out the window, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they say would put your heels on the 10-yard line, but when you return it, maybe your coach doesn't say anything to you, right? Yeah, I think a lot of special teams coach, if they've got a special guy, they'll say, yeah, okay, you can go to the 8. But this one, he really had some guts. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game. And maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They got to steal it and try and gain an advantage. And they tried. They just didn't get it done. Cook. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 18 there and give the Vikings a first down. Draw play, Cousins to Cook. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Looking to throw on second down. Cousins, and his throw here is incomplete. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. First red zone chance now for the Vikings. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. Throwing his Cousins, and that'll be caught by Diggs for a Minnesota touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there as they are now on the board here in the first half. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to seven. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And all the way down to the 29. A big play there just before halftime. And even 40 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. This is caught, Watkins. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. 
Sammy Watkins, 29 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Uh, we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. And the catch made by Johnson. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. Final play of the half, Cousins. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. All right, hang on. We'll jump over at halftime. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. This will be taken in at the one. A second, and he's loose again. And what a return. He's all the way down to the 30. But when the highlight is shown of this play, all attention is going to be on the person running with the football. But how about the group as a whole setting up that big time return? Yardage that we won't even account for in the box score. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Good job. Good job. Sammy Watkins, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. This one fielded at the five. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Off the edge, the sack by Reggie Ragland. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's... And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there. Cousins to Thielen. 73 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. And he will take this one into the end zone for the Viking touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. This will be taken in at the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line.
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Mahomes going to throw. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. It's a gain of 34. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. Second down and goal. Mahomes, and that is caught by Watkins for a Chief touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. And the Vikings able to recover. The hands team does its job. Well, fourth quarter, they let's felt go, like they needed go, the football go. back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Working out of the gun, Cousins. He finds his man, Johnson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Well, that's how you convert on third down with an explosive gain of 34. Cousins. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Ola B.C. Johnson there to make the grab. And the Vikings are able to close the gap just a bit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. A drive there of just four plays. And it's polished off by a Viking score. And the Chiefs have got it. And with that, they should have a victory as well. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Play fake, Cousins, looking middle, and it's incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now Cousins, and this one hauled in by Rudolph. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, here's Cousins. He completes it to Treadwell. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the